think startups really need to create um, a value add and be able to have a 30 second pitch and really do what they're seeing they're going to do um, and do it very well with a very strong team in their home base first. VCs are there to invest in startups in the ecosystem, develop success stories, albeit there's going to be a lot of the failures, but develop success stories. And so there's several sectors that we like, and education is an amazing space, I think, for this part of the world particularly. I think automotive is a great space. It is a huge opportunity here, and, and there's little done online. I think finance is interesting as well. And Arabic content, I think, in general, uh, applied to many industries. So we came up with a concept called adhub.me. What we do mainly is performance affiliate marketing. Try to achieve uh, out of, I mean, either by content, by article, by banners, by social media, whatever they want. Press first, or just do a soft launch and then uh, work on things out, and then first to press uh, launch globally or locally first, and then expand. We're really driving specific job titles or specific industries in mass to a specific website. Is to create a custom URL on that website. So when you're driving people from LinkedIn, you're getting all of that really qualified audience who you know exactly who they are, you know which job titles, which industry, right? All the businesses we see out here are only a very small percentage have the ability to go global. Mostly, you know, the big vision is around dominating the region. Yeah. You have to have that traction in order. And, you know, a switch comes first, the chicken or the egg. So it's, um, it's a problem. With, you're in, it'll be very hard to raise funding unless you have a customer or two. We can have four buckets. How do we get other people to create content for us at the quality that we want? How do we price what we have, whether it's the difference that being created by different people, or it doesn't have a clear value because there's nothing like it, or we're not quite sure the market doesn't have a clear standard. And then once we have it, or uh, not content marketing, basically how to use content to drive engagement. And the fourth bucket is how once we have this content, we know what to price it at. How do we go about selling it? I would spend more time on actually eliminating everything that you already did and start doing something from scratch. For every one minute of a public speaking or pitching performance, you need to rehearse it for an hour. You're seeing now what you never used to see three, four years ago are businesses that come across the million dollar revenue threshold. Uh, and those are businesses that are kind of healthy and growing at that positive trajectory. Three, four years ago, those were really, really rare. Also make sure that you understand who you actually really want to target. I think there's still a lot of mistakes being made, but we just go, oh, I'm going to reach everyone. And I'll be very clear in terms of who the customers are that you want to reach, uh, define who are the customers that are going to add value to you, and then you target just those, um, especially when you use paid advertising. We've grown, not in sales, but we've grown a lot in the number of restaurants that we have and the customers that are using our service. So what we did differently is we started with our network of friends, colleagues, and family. And they started using the service, and then with word of mouth, we grown our network. You have to be aligned with the investor. It's not all about the money. It's about how you are. Uh, you, you share the same vision, and you share the same uh, mindset for the product and the vision for the product. Mm -hmm.